All right, so All right. welcome everybody to our currently unnamed podcast. Um, if you guys look at our chat over here, I have some name suggestions. So if you guys want to choose something, I'm talking to you, Alex and Jerry. So in this podcast, we're going to be talking about, you know, a little bit of Japan, a little bit of uh, Japanese news, maybe some Japanese anime, you know, whatever, whatever we feel like talking about Japan. Starting off with... Damn, I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> I thought you had a topic and everything. <laughs> no, no, I do, right? I do, I do, I do. Okay. Yeah, okay. it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> All right. So in this podcast, we're going to be talking about, you know, in general, Japan, maybe some Japanese anime, some Japanese news. We're going to have a total of three segments, starting off with segment one, with, which is um, teaching or bringing some Japanese words and teaching ourselves some Japanese words. Uh, the second part, we're just going to be talking about, you know, something recently we watched, um, like a Japanese drama or Japanese anime, or maybe some um, Japanese news we heard recently. And the third segment is just going to be freestyle. We talk about whatever we want. So, you guys, introduce yourselves. All right, Alex, bitches first. So, why are you not saying anything then? Because the biggest bitch here is you. And that that was whack. That was whack, bro. Yeah, well, anyways, yeah, what's up, everyone? My name's Alex. Hey, this is Jerry. And this is Kiko. So it's going to be three of us. And to start off our first segment, let's start with Alex since he was the biggest bitch to start off everything. Um, Alex, which word... <laughs> which Japanese word... Did you bring to the table today that you want to teach everybody out there? It could be any Japanese word. Explain it to us. Use it in a sentence. It's supposed right. to come with the word. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm Before not I bring for this. Okay. For, uh, first of all, you didn't say anything about that. <laughs> yeah, man. What hey, did hey. I tell you so, about so, prepare? So, yeah. Hey, second hey. of all, second of all, f you. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This is a freestyle. Like right now, I'm putting you guys on the spot. So think of a word. Like I didn't. There's a reason I told you. Like I didn't tell you to prepare. Like I'm putting you on the spot. So think of a word. And yeah, right. man. Yeah, no. Wait, is is this uh, like is this um? How should I say that? For what kind of audience this podcast is for? Like, are we age restricted or something? No, we're not age restricted, man. This isn't. This is freestyle, man. We do whatever we want, dude. All right. So basically, I don't think that uh, that word is uh, have have to has any more explanations. Jerry basically just said Yeriman, which is a prostitute in Japanese. <laughs> All right. So I thought it was just like slut. I mean, uh, close to that. It's kind of the same thing, especially nowadays. It's, All right. It's so how, how, how do you how do you say the word? Say it slowly. Yeriman. Right. Are, are we really picking that word? <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just said it you out just of nowhere. Said that. You just said All right. that. Alright, so that's... Uh, so that's uh, Okay, Jerry said the word, but Alex took the word. So that's Alex's word of the day. So it means prostitute. But recently, it has meant like whore or like slut, right? Thought, yeah, basically. Oh, like thought. Slut. Okay, T-H-O-T, yeah. So sometimes you could go up to a girl or whatever, and you could be like, you're not a superman. You're a yari man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too Western. That's too American. Yeah. That's an yeah. 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 Japan. yeah. 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 I don't think you're gonna get any luck with that. <laughs> but yeah, you, you you but you got the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yari man, there you go. Um, Jay, which word do you wanna bring to the table? Hold on, hold on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not used to. Uh, Dude, just any word. Stop. Any word, dude? <laughs> hey, Alex, what does uh, uwaki mean? Uh, wait. Waki ili, uh, or uh, U- uwaki? Uwaki. Waki? Uwaki. Uh, uwaki. Cheating. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that word. Cause... And uh, like uh, English kind of have a wide uh, options for the word cheating itself. With, with no context, it could be many things. But uwaki in Japanese means uh, cheating in the marriage. 
Dang, dude, we're starting this thing off, right? Wait, 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 wait. First, wait. we come up with slut and hoe, and now we're doing cheating. All right, so this hold is... up. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask a couple questions because Uwaki is new to me. So Uwaki, is that like only cheating in a marriage, or is it like cheating in a relationship as well? Yeah, that that would be hundred percent accurate. Like uh, okay, cheating so... in a relationship. Yeah. Okay, so Uwaki is it like is Uwaki a person or is it like a? It's a an verb? action. Action. Actually, like, yeah, verb, verb, yeah, it is. Okay, so how how would you say how would you say cheater like a a person who cheats? <coughs> well, in Japanese, it kind of works like wakimono. <coughs> wakimono, <laughs> you, you cheating thing? Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like no, 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 no. Uh, Okay, someone uh, have to hit. Someone has to change the Japanese one hundred one to two point one because uh, mono. It sounds like a thing, but it's also uh, like the similar pronunciation, but the different uh, kanji for that is uh, also means person. Okay, so uwaki mono is a cheater. Uwaki is yeah, but the that's not common. Cheating. That's not the most common way to say it. I guess it's kind of like a traitor, which is uragiri. Uragiri mono. Okay, you're you're getting too advanced right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, so. Okay, my turn. So my word, make it clean, man. Be yeah, of course. save, save, save the podcast, damn it. Okay, okay. So my word is just gonna be daijoubu because that word is very, dude. It's it's the most useful word you're ever gonna learn, man. Daijoubu. Yeah. And it pretty much means like, like if you ask someone like, hey, are you good? Are you good? You're gonna say, um, people will say like daijoubu, you know, like uh, in a question tone, and if someone says like, yeah, I'm good. They just simply say daijoubu. So, you know, you could be like daijoubu, daijoubu, you know? So, I was just saying, like, are you good? Are you okay? Is everything good, you know? Yeah, that's actually um, a multi tool. It's not just like that, but that's actually yeah, a useful yeah. word. Yeah, it's a very useful word. And the way I learned it, and I think Jerry also learned it, is like when we went to parties, and here here on our campus, we went to parties, and there would be a Japanese girl, like, getting wasted. Um, we just go up to them and be like, hey, are you good? Um, you know, you're a little bit... It looks like you're stumbling, you know. So, are you good? It'll be like daijoubu, daijoubu, you know. And it will blow like Japanese people's mind, like, yo, you know that word, daijoubu. Like, it's a very useful word. Um, and also, um, one thing I learned is here in America, when you sneeze, um, Americans say bless you. You know, someone sneezes, bless you. Um, when in Japan, there is no equivalent of bless you. So when someone sneezes in Japan, they say daijoubu. So it's like someone will sneeze. Hey, are you good? You know, like you sneezed pretty hard. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, dude. You have to, Sorry, you have to shake off the fucking wig of your head. <laughs> yeah. So they actually be concerned about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so, so yeah, daijoubu just means like, are you good? Are you doing okay? Um, you know, you're fine. Um, if you see someone crying on the street, you go up to them and be like, Daijoubu, are you doing okay? Like, um, yeah, do you guys want to add add anything to that? <laughs> Not uh, really. Yeah, I got nothing. All right. So those were our three words. The first one was Yadiman, which means slut, whore, prostitute. <laughs> Very offensive. Uh, hey, I, I feel like whore is just like, <laughs> say ho. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, oh. let's, roll, let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. <laughs> All right. And the second word was uwaki, which means cheating, and yeah. uwaki mono, which means cheater. And I feel the third one, start over. <laughs> no, it's fine. Dude. And the third word is daijoubu, which means are you good? And like just the, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Whatever. You know, daijoubu. <laughs> Sounds like a, <laughs> a fucking order of relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good, man. It's they're good words, man. They're very useful words. I don't, guess. don't go up to Japanese girls and saying yari, man. That'd be very, very, very offensive. Yeah, you could say it to the guys, but I mean the girls now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so so those are our words, and yeah, I hope you guys learned something from it. And yeah. yeah. Let's go into next go lesson. Into is gonna be an alphabet. Yeah. Next up. <laughs> <Alphabet. laughs> All right. Let's 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 move on to the next part. Gotcha. Have you guys yeah. have you guys watched? any new Japanese anime movies, dramas or is there anything in the Japan news that we should know about? Um, I think we will learn more um, 
from Alex because Alex is living in Japan right now and Alex is, is experiencing everything firsthand. So, Alex. Sort of. Yeah, well, um, to be honest, I haven't been watching anything like of the shows, like anime or any shows or uh, dramas lately, but the news, huh? Well, um, that could be somewhat interesting, but you guys know that um, Japan kind of have two ways of, uh, how do you call that, of measuring the years. Uh, that's a weird, weird way to say that. It's like, like for, for instance, right now, it's uh, like for everyone in the world, it's 2019, right? Wait, are you talking about the, the new year, like it's changing from... Um... I guess the, uh, the, the, the right Heisei, Heisei era? Is that yeah, yeah, era, era, yeah, I guess that's yeah. the that's, that's the shit. Yeah, so, so every time uh, a new emperor emperor takes the, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, the, the seat, the throne in Japan. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's one way. The, the year, I guess the years kind of change, or the, the way right. they call the years. Yeah, the the era changed. Yeah, this uh, this kind of tradition, and what's what's kind of interesting about this one? Well, well, from the yeah, for the first time uh, of the history of Japan, the next emperor takes takes the throne, the throne like from the previous emperor who is his father, yeah. while the previous emperor is still alive. So it's like hereditary type of shit mm -hmm. and before that it always was like um the emperor supposed to die like yeah okay, with so him the the old era dies that's kind of symbolical type of thing okay i gotcha so how long okay so the heisei is heisei heisei era is gonna be over it's already it's already it's, or, it's, oh, already, it's already over, over. yeah okay, it's already over and how long did it last how long was the heisei era uh, Heisei era was from 89 till 2019, uh, till the end of the April. So from the May, it, it began, uh, the uh, Reva, Reva began. So Heisei was with us like for 31 years. Yeah. yeah for okay. Years. And the new era, the new era is called, I forgot, I forgot the name. I think it was like, Reiwa. I forgot the name, dude. Reiwa. Yeah, Reiwa. Yeah, so the new the new era is called Rei Wa. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I heard about that. It's oh. a pretty big deal. Like, if you guys don't know, like, it's a pretty big deal for the for the Japanese people. Like, yeah. Like when that happened, like when the Heisei era was over, a lot of people yeah. were like getting wasted, partying. Um, get, well, actually, I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just a, guessing, but it's like um, I don't know. It's like the the first fucking taco in the United States. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That's yeah, a pretty big deal. That's what Alex is trying to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, that's fucking huge in my book. I don't give yeah. a shit about the era, but fucking Taco Bell. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Jerry, what do you have? Um, do you have any new anime dramas or anything Japanese news related for us? Uh. Shoot, man, you're putting me on the spot. I don't know. Um, and Jerry's not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no shit. No uh, shit. All right, here, let me, let, I'll, I'll pick one. All right, so um, recently we watched the movie Detective Pikachu. And even though the movie was made here in the States, uh, Pokemon is of Japanese origin. So. What? Yeah, the more you know, right? Pokemon Monster. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, wait, anyway, the movie, the movie is really, it's a kids movie, obviously, but overall, like, just the CGI, the story, and everything was just like perfect. Like the music, there was a lot of throwbacks, and you know, I think it was a really good movie. Definitely something that I would watch several times. Huh. So if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. And after you watch it, it kind of makes you want to buy like a Detective Pikachu plushie. It's pretty good. It's worth it. And while the whole thing started in Japan, the irony is Japan's gonna be one of those countries who will have that movie probably the last in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but the theaters were handing out Pokemon cards. Like every time you go watch, when you go watch the movie, um, the theater is supposed to give you Pokemon cards. 
those bastards did not give me any Pokemon cards. I was pissed. Like, I, I found out, like, later. Like, later in the day. That they were supposed to give you Pokemon cards. Not a big deal. Whatever. Dang. Grown-ass man crying over Pokemon cards. Yeah, dude. The free Pokemon cards, dude. They're supposed yeah. to give them to me. They probably, they probably have something like that here, too. Because, uh... The interesting thing, the closest and the most uh, popular like movie theater is literally like 200 meters away from the Pokemon Center in my city. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Pokemon Center, man, it's, a, it's definitely a place worth going. All right, so Jerry, yeah. Jerry what do you got for us? I don't know. I would say Peter Bar's better. You just, you just took my Pokemon one, dude. Dude, you, I asked you, I asked you first, and you're like, oh, I got nothing. Why are you putting me on the spot? And I'm like, okay, I'll take one. <laughs> I thought you were giving me one. You took mine. I right, um, would think of another one. Damn. Um, sh- <laughs> <laughs> Anything's fine, dude. Huh. Oh, man. News and or anime. Oh. Do you know Vinland Saga is coming out with an anime? The what saga? Vinland Saga. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what that is, Alex? No clue. You guys, you guys are bitches. Alright, um, so why don't you enlighten us? Why don't you teach us what uh, Vinland Saga? Vinland. Yeah, Vinland Saga. Okay. Well, I mean... It's a. It's been in manga form so for a long time, and a lot of people thought it deserved an anime adaptation for quite a while now, and it finally got one by the same studio that did Attack on Titan. So, which I still haven't seen yet. It's about Vikings. It's pretty awesome. So, can you give us like a quick, a quick plot summary without like spoiling anything? So you say it's about Vikings, but what do the Vikings do? Do they like smoke weed or do, smoke do they weed fuck and fuck <laughs> <laughs> Get all the yachty man, huh? All right, so what do the Vikings do? <laughs> well, I mean, if I say what it's about, there's a little bit of a spoiler, spoiler there. Okay, so so it's a so it's gonna it's a manga that's gonna get an anime at a at a tap at, 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 at Oh my god, I can't say the word adaptation, and it's about Vikings. Yeah, it's about Vikings, and the main main character is being trained by a Viking. Okay. Uh, so it's okay. The main character is being trained by a Viking, and that Viking is the person he's trying to kill. So that's I feel that's a pretty interesting what? premise. He's being oh. trained by the person he wants to kill. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, that sounds a little good. bit better than uh, that one <laughs> anime they made a while ago. It was about um, USSR and uh, the whole communist shit. It was fucking awful. I don't remember the whole anime. I, I remember only a like, couple moments, but it basically was like a fucking communist with uh, katanas. It was fucking really close. Dang. Huh. So, um, Jay, would you would you say like this is a 10-10 would recommend Anime I mean, slash manga. I read the manga, and that so far has been a 10 10. So I'm hoping the anime is also a 10 out of 10. So. All right. So for everybody listening out there, Jay is giving the seal of approval to read it and possibly watch it. Yep. I guess it's at least it's worth to check out. Yeah. All right. Moving on. We're going to talk about. Um, anything we want pretty much and we're gonna get off the topic about Japan and Japanese words um, if you guys forgot about the Japanese words we just taught you it is Yariman um, Uwaki and Aijobu alright don't forget it don't forget it alright so alright let's move on to the next topic um, Game of Thrones Wait a minute. Oh, hold on, hold on. I had a topic that's still related to. All right. Well, stuff. what's your topic? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, Alex, I recently found out that um, you can have the same word, meaning the same thing, but with different kanji. Uh. Yep. That's true. 
Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's that's a bit that's breaking my brain a little bit. Like like yeah, it takes sometimes to get used to the concept to the concept. Oh, I, th- I think I understand what you mean, dude. But can you give an example? Uh, me do, me do like to see has yeah. like three different kanji that you can use, and one of them is like to, you're observing something. Another thing is like you're watching a movie. Another thing is like. It's like very subtle differences, but yes. So that's why some people are dropping like the separation between kanjis. They kind of working on the, like the whole educational system. Kind of try to work out the ways how to simplify the language. You know, because there are too many kanjis and too many like I would say points how to use them. Even Japanese kind of uh, growing sick and tired of it. Especially huh. the end, the generation. So. You come across these words and these kanjis. Like once you start getting into like intermediate Japanese, um, you're gonna start seeing like, dang, like this is more difficult than I thought because so many words sound similar and they're very different, or they are similar and they are the same, but they're written in different ways. And it's just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Let's just yeah, put yeah. it. Let's just put like. Let's just put it like this. Like for those who have been thinking about to start learning Japanese. Uh, I would like to say right now, so there's alphabet, of course, but the, there are two kinds of alphabet, and after that, the, the, the fucking conscious, aka the hieroglyphics, or whatever, yes, sir. What, what's the right, uh, what's the, the best word for that, but whatever. The, the characters, Chinese characters. Yeah, Chinese characters, because originally, the, those being Chinese, the Japanese stole them, well, took them <laughs> they and, and, and change, change them so they now didn't steal them, they, adopted they have, them. They have plan, plenty of They're characters borrowing them, okay? yeah, borrowing them. Them. plenty of characters <laughs> which are not recognizable by by Chinese by the way so and in a daily life you need to know 2000 of them so yeah. you wouldn't have any problems with Japanese reading or speaking or whatever and when it comes when it comes down to it, um, kanji is important, but when you're learning Japanese, it's not that important. Like it should not be a priority to learn. Yeah, I'm just saying about the daily life. If you eventually yeah. would like to stay and live in Japan, yeah, if you want to stay in Japan, you're gonna need to learn, learn kanji to like read, um, be literate. Read, yeah, read. Yeah, stuff, and that, that's literate. why. Yeah, and that's why uh, I have a little bit of struggle because I'm fucking lazy and I didn't learn all two thousand. <laughs> Yeah, because cause you think like, okay, yeah, conversation, conversational Japanese is the most important in learning the basic um, characters. Yeah, that's true. But kanji kanji is like the least important to learn when you're learning Japanese, but it is important when you go to Japan. For example, when I went to Japan, um, I, needed, I needed to buy sugar for my coffee. And I went to the store and I saw like these little white bags of stuff. And I'm like, wait, is this flour? Is it salt? Is it sugar? Is it cocaine? I don't know, you know, because I can't read the kanji. So, <laughs> is there I, a kanji for cocaine? <laughs> I don't think I so. Don't know. Shit. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know what I was buying. It was a bag of white stuff, and I'm there. Like, I'm gonna weed though. <laughs> yeah. So there's it was a kanji a... <laughs> for weed. Yeah. Yeah, there's a kanji for weed. Yeah. So anyway, I was buying this bag of white stuff, and I'm like, I, I don't know what it is, and I'm gonna put it in my coffee. I'm like, I don't even know what it is. So I had to look up the kanji on my phone for sugar and compare it. And I was there for like 20 minutes comparing my phone in the bag, <laughs> <laughs> and I finally just bought it. And yeah, it was sugar because you know I had to do my research first. <laughs> after you bought it, yeah. But, after I bought it. <laughs> but to be honest with you, nowadays, like, uh, you know that the Google Translate, like the app. It's actually getting uh, much better, so the camera actually works online and can translate for you without them snapping the pic. Yeah, so that can that could be a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be very useful for foreigners in the future. Uh, great. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Go, okay. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Ahead. Game of Thrones. What are your thoughts? Okay. Um, <laughs> just give us your quick thoughts, Alex. What did you think of the ending? Oh, I think it's fucked up. <laughs> okay, okay. Not completely, but kind of on that level, yeah. Well, uh, why like, is it fucked up? Man? It kind of it reminds me of the beginning. So when the Ned Stark was, uh, 
was trying to do the right things all the way through, right? Yeah. Like, really, like uh, something, something for the greater good, uh, for the greater good, at least greater than himself. So did the Jon Snow, and what he got, what what he fucking got in the end. Dude, he got sideswept hard. <laughs> I know, right? Plus, the instant change in, uh, in the Dragon Queen. I mean, like, the character isn't isn't gonna break that fast. They yeah. they fucking rushed the whole fucking season through. It was yeah. So when it comes down to it, like, um, pretty much, yeah, the whole season was rushed. Um, the story makes sense, but it was too rushed. They said like if they did like season season eight, like the mm-hmm. whole season eight all about the Night King, and then the whole season nine about Daenerys going mad, and then the whole season ten conclusion, you know like ten or twelve seasons, you know, and it would have been perfect. But having season, um, having one episode beat the Night King, then the, ne- the next episode be the Cersei, and then the next episode be Daenerys, like it's mm-hmm. come on man, that's too many main villains in one season. Dude, it's like it's, it's like Spider Man three. Yeah. <laughs> they just threw like all the bad guys together, yeah. Yeah. You mean uh, you, you mean that shit with Toby Maguire? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have Venom, Sandman and, and Green Goblin. Oh yeah, speak, 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 speaking of the devil, Venom. I still haven't seen the the new well, what oh, is it? Yeah, the new Venom. You gotta get on that dude. <laughs> Here is not the. It's it's, a, it's meh. It's meh. Did, uh, no, no, uh, did you watch it, Jerry? Um, I mean, I've seen bits and pieces, but I haven't seen the whole thing. All right, so I'm the only one who has watched it here, so I have a valid opinion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's uh worth watching. Like you know, you have like the Marvel movies, which is like top tier, and then you have the DC movies, which is like low tier. <laughs> I say I say that Venom is like closer to the Marvel movies. Like it's where like maybe it no maybe not like up there as the Marvel movies, but it's not like down there either. Like it's not even close to being down there. Does so that it's, make not sense? Sh- it's not one of the shitty DC movies, but no, it's well, not, not. I mean Marvel movies, but to be to be honest, it's like a, for me, it's like three main types of movies, like three main categories. Like, yeah. DC is going to be on the bottom. It's like, eh, I'm not really excited to watch that. Yeah. Then there's uh, uh, the top tier from, from my, like, for me, from my personal perspective. Like, entertaining wise, mm. is the Marvel movies. Let's say uh, something big was big, like uh, Spider Man, Homecoming, right? Uh, like, just for example, right? Uh, well, so, of course, uh, Deadpool. And there are some Marvel movies I don't really getting hyped about like Ant-Man I still haven't seen that no, I, same here Ant-Man yeah. isn't that good man Venom uh, sounds like much more interesting than uh, Ant-Man to me <laughs> but still kind of eh, nah, I don't know I'm not that hyped about it no no Ven- Venom's good man I watched Ant-Man Ant-Man was alright like I didn't eh, like it could have been better but Venom I think Venom is good like Venom I think you yeah, know Venom just watch it man I think I okay, think it's pretty okay. good Right. I think it's I think it's worth watching, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, what about Captain Marvel? I have not seen Captain Marvel. <laughs> I've seen it. It, it was. It's, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's it's they're bringing her on to be like the 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 Goku of the universe, and it's kind of like her introduction was him. Because you know we've been with everybody else for so long, and then suddenly they kind of they just shove this hero saying like, "Oh yeah." She's gonna be the strongest and savior of everything. And you're just like, okay. I mean, I've heard uh, several shreds of information, like uh, about the Captain Marvel character. I'm not that big. How can I put it? I'm not that big of a nerd. Yeah. I kind of been uh, nerding out about Spider Man most of my most of my Marvel life. <laughs> so, I, mean, I don't think any of us knew who Captain Marvel was until the movie got released. Yeah. No, I was no, like, no. Just like I said, like uh, I've been more of a nerd about Spider-Man universe, and I've seen all all of the characters, including Captain Marvel, several times. But I don't know mm-hmm. much about her. Yeah, I don't think any of us do. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, anyway yeah. how many how many of us knew about Thanos before he was in the movie? Yeah, true. 
<laughs> like if you're not like a big comic book fan, then you're not you're not gonna know any of these characters. But if you are a comic book fan, then yeah, I think you would know them. But we're not just we're not we're not that big of a nerd. We're yeah, nerd, we're casuals. We're, yeah, we're uh, casuals. Okay. Yeah. Filthy <laughs> casuals. Yeah. Well, like nerds want to be or something like that. Yeah, we're just wannabes. We're we're fakes. We're posers. Hey, hey oh, hold on, man. I like Pokemon throughout elementary school when people were making fun of me for that shit. So, so, well, so I deserve some nerd status here. Oh, that's just YouTube probably because uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Pokemon. So. Well, get out of here, man! You're kicked out of the nerd club. Oh, I yeah. will. I will. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Dang. All right. Well, I think we're gonna wrap this up because it's about that time to go. I know we, we kind of rushed through this, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 yeah, we were, we're on here for like 30 minutes, man. Almost 30 minutes. It ain't that bad. It's fine. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. 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 Um, so what were our three words again, Alex? Um, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, ooh, wacky. <laughs> and the last one is multi-tool, which is uh, quite useful. Daijogu. The most important word you're going to take away from this lesson is Yariman. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's Daijobu. <laughs> Daijobu. It's going to be Daijobu. So, so one day um, you're in Japan and you see like a girl fall down, um, scratch her knee or scrape her knee, I mean. You could go up to her and be like, Daijobu. And she'll look at, she'll look at you deep in the eyes and be like, Daijobu. And then yeah. um, you'll take her home and yeah. have a fun time. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that's, that's definitely a yadiman. <laughs> no, that, that, yeah, that's definitely a yadiman. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely a yadiman, and most likely she is doing some uwaki on her husband. <laughs> God damn it! Damn. <laughs> no, whatever. All right, um, yeah, we're gonna wrap You're this up. Um, All right. All right. Um, thanks for listening to our first um podcast yeah uh, i know really i know <laughs> first impressions here first yeah impressions. first impressions i mean it's a lot it's all over the place but hey we're working on we're working it out this is our first one and hopefully by the next one we're gonna have an official name for this because right now we're still thinking of some names and yeah thanks for mm. listening do you guys want to say um anything before we head out yeah next time we we'll probably will have a little bit more composure yes sir and be more prepared when the guy who tells us to do these things tells us to prepare. Hey, doing everything spontaneous is the way to go, man. Yeah, at least has to, you know, have some idea, though. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. Okay. Um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Peace. Bye.